Long time no see, welcome back. The game we are looking over today is Slay the Spire. Now you may be wondering, where's your mouth? Behind the microphone. You may be wondering, what is Slay the Spire if you've never heard of it? Now let me break it down. Slay the Spire is a deck building roguelike where your one task is to climb this repugnant summit in the search of an exit. There are three total acts, each taking place in a different section of the tower. Each gameplay is randomly generated, so don't get comfortable with the character you have or the build you have, because death is always a bad play away. Currently, there are four characters to choose from, each with unique benefits and looks as well, which makes them different from one another. I can't go into too much detail about what they can do, because I will be here for a very long time, but I will try to put in five words or less for each one. The Ironclad. He's a soldier. He can take and give big damage. Silent. The Rogue. Swift. Leaves you poisoned and can shiv you to death. The Defect. A robot with big meaty orbs. The Watcher. A monk, methodical yet impassioned, one step ahead of you always. The fantastic part about Slate the Spire is that there is no go-to build. There's no one correct way to get through the game. Once you pick your character and you pick a blessing from your favorite whale, it's called Nyao. Three eyes. It's beautiful. You unfurl a map and you notice several paths with odd symbols. Now as you look at your map, you notice there are multiple symbols, pathways, and you might not be too sure what they mean. Luckily there's a legend right there to help you out. Now you may either encounter an enemy, an elite, mini bosses, a shopkeeper, a treasure chest containing a relic, which will help you out in the long run, or a question mark spot, which is an event that can be either positive or negative. Relics are permanent items that provide a passive bonus for the rest of the run. Most relics can be held by all, but there are character Based relics as well. Now depending on which relic you get, it can start shaping which cards you aim to pick up. Here are the different tiers of relics and the same name adages are used for the cards. Look at me using this fun terminology. Common and uncommon relics would do you good for a little while, but to get to the delicious synergizing relics, you might need to fight a few elites or you can get lucky during an event. The shopkeeper also has a selection of relics if you can gather enough money. And, or if you get a membership card. Or if you make a sacrifice to get your 999 gold, but that's for you to find out. After you successfully completed the third act, <coughs> a modifier called Ascension is unlocked for that character. Ascension start from 1 and go all the way up to 20 with an added difficulty modifier for each level. The highest I've reached so far is a grand total of Two. No longer can I just simply plow through normal encounters and hope to get stronger cards because those same normal enemies can just be my run ender now. It's a fun way to add more replay value to an already fantastic game. Now sometimes you'll hit a wall in the first act, others you'll hope the game will never end because you may have the greatest build you've ever seen, but like I said, do not get comfortable because it will go away in the snap of a finger. But hopefully with well-made plans, you can dodge or roll your way into some great situations and come out as a winner on the top of the spire. Just to start all over again. So that wasn't anything too long. It's a game that has already great graphics, already fantastic orchestral music. That sounds epic when you're fighting bosses. It sounds like the cycle theme, even a little bit, the way the violins and the string sections sound. It really adds this atmosphere and surrounds you in this mystery because you're just trying to climb this tower, but yet you still do not know exactly what you are doing there. Ah, great game. Great game. And that wraps up another entry for inputs on Slay the Spire. Good game, bad game. Let us know in the comments below. Have a great week and please stay safe. Beam me up, Scotty.